Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me out here at Lamborghini Broward out in Florida. Today we're going over to their supercar Saturday to get a small feel though for what's coming up today. That was an Aventador SVJ 63. This is the brand new Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive and today I'm going to be getting behind the wheel of one of their Hurricane Evo spiders. My first time driving the drop top of the new Hurricane Evo to head over to the Lamborghini Broward supercar Saturday. We're going to be seeing hundreds of supercars as well as driving in the new Evo. Let's do this. This should be an awesome day ahead. Have a look at this thing, the Aventador SVJ63. There we have the new rear wheel drive, and here we have the car that I'm going to be driving, the Hurricane Evo Spider. But let me quickly show you around these. Only 63 of these in the entire world. The 63 edition, paying tribute to Lamborghini being founded back in 1963 of their ultimate hardcore V12 Brute, the SVJ, the Super Veloce Yota. This car though, the satin silver paintwork, you've got the exposed satin carbon over the entirety at the top of the car you've got the red accents all around you've got this incredibly aggressive rear wing the color scheme the 63 lettering logos on the side of it on the bonnet as well distinct about this specific model you've got the ala aerodynamica lamborghini attiva through the front all the aerodynamic work this thing looks like a supercar should look then next to it here we happen to have the latest lamborghini introduction the rear wheel drive version of the hurricane evo now this is a new color for the car which looks awesome, actually. We don't have any sunshine out here right now. I seem to have brought some rather British weather out with me, but check out this thing, the new design at the front. This is how you can tell it's the rear wheel drive with this design. So normally, of course, the Hurricanes, like most Lamborghinis, would be four wheel drive. This car has the LP610 engine, the 610 horsepower, 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10, but all the power going to the back, still through the seven speed dual clutch gearbox. That's a lot of fun. And then we now have the Spider out here as well. So we are surrounded by Lambo, we will very quickly, I think, jump on board there. I'll quickly actually show you the interior of this because they've introduced some new seats for the car. A brand new seat design for this. I think you can manually raise it and lower it and tilt it, giving a little bit more space inside the car. It's actually really nice. The Evo embroidery, carbon. Yeah, that's quite a cool seat design, actually. Really, really good. This has just come in. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Probably a lot of fun to drive, but we can't quite do that at this stage. The car has just arrived, so it's currently in its pre-delivery state. This one, though, is going to be ready, and we need to head over, because I rather gather there are going to be hundreds of Lamborghinis. We might get lucky and spot a Bugatti or something like that. Lots of Ferraris, McLarens. Let's do this. Let's head over to Supercar Saturday. We're just gearing up to head on over, but before we do, a quick look here inside the showroom. Check this out. The Aventador SV Roadster in Verde Femis, a very light line green looking lovely we've also got another SBJ just here another performante spider on the other side the evo spider some very nice cars of course many of the cars are on the way over to the event as that Gallardo that just disappeared past is also we've got a performante spider in blue we've got the hurricane avio there as well lots and lots of cars around let's just come back outside looks like the sun might actually be about to appear i'm going to come and show you very quickly inside here because i've got permission to start it up so let's take a seat inside check out these new seats and bring the uh, Evo rear-wheel drive into life. Take this very carefully, does it? Brand new car. Can't do anything silly. Inside though, like the Evo, it has the large touchscreen in the middle. Under here, the fighter jet style. Into life with a sharp snap, as you expect from the V10. Yeah. Oh, we've got the track cameras as well inside here. Okay, now this is not the car that we're going to be driving. Just a bit of fun to have a little play with it. Look, only 36 miles on the clock at the moment. Brand new, brand, brand, brand new. And the colour, this colour is really, really nice. Kind of a pearlescent, almost a slight greeny kind of hint, golden hint in the yellow. But I like that, I like that a lot. So that's going to be taken back for the moment. And then I guess we're going to get the start up of the SVJ. Let's just come and see this on the move before we uh, do head around. What is very distinct Lamborghini, the Y-shaped headlights, aggressive designs, and all the power in that going to the rear, which makes it quite an entertaining thing to drive. Let's come and have a quick look at the Evo Spider, the LP640-4. 
the wheel design again, Y shapes on the wheel design, gigantic carbon ceramics, as you would expect. The SVJ is maneuvering around and actually the sun is just starting to poke through the clouds a little bit as well. What I'm going to do just for the moment is take a step inside here, show you the interior. We've got the comfort seats as opposed to the much sportier seats that we saw uh, in the rear wheel drive. But again, the digital screen in the centre, the digital dashboard too. You've got the yellow accents, the yellow finishing highlights that you have all around. I'm not sure if the key is inside. Yep, it is. It is woken up. So this means we can open up the roof. Let's just start it, bring it into life. The controls for the roof are just here. I think you press it down and it opens up. Here we go, the rear shelf opens, folds backwards. The fabric soft top goes with it. And in just a matter of seconds, we are converted and open to the elements. Windows back up, soft top open position reached and ready to head on over to the event. Today then, for the drive, I'm joined by Josh here. How you doing? What's going on, everyone? Thank you very much for this. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, this car only has 63 miles on the clock. Brand new. We need to take it easy. Be delicate, be gentle with it. Okay, I think we'll probably keep the roof down, but we'll put the windows up, which in this car is that way. Um, make it a little bit less blustery. I tell you what, though, Hurricane Spider, you feel like the window is so low yeah. in here. The view out. Right, I should probably give you this um, for today. Swap rolls. There you go. <laughs> Holding the camera, thank you very much. Get belted up. We'll head out on the roads. It's not too far to go from here to your event, right? Yeah, maybe and a couple then, of minutes. And then, uh, yeah, let's see, see how it goes. Sounds good. Into gear then. Love the shift paddles on here. Automatic by default, but let's get on the move. Take this car out. Obviously, you've got to remember to drive on the right, being British and all. <laughs> Make sure we get this correct and um, take it easy. And this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, you know, because you're driving these things all the time. It's easy and gentle and immediately just cruises. This is actually just a gentle kind of walk in the park. As we head on out towards the main roads, we do have a lift system as well if we need it here. Let's sort of switch to uh, raise that up. And in fact, I might do that just for this little bump we have here. Raise up the nose. Yeah, well that's kind of interesting, that monster <laughs> with the wing on the back. Okay, right, lift back down, uh, one we'll press of that. This is where we can go into sport mode with the toggle that you've got here. Oh, there we go, a bit more exhaust. That's what we like. It's all about the engine. Roof down with this engine. Out onto the main highway we go. So we want to pop the car into manual, which is just here. Press the uh, M so that at least we can hold onto the gears. better than a naturally aspirated Lamborghini. Yeah, Under 30 miles an hour. Now we have to slow down though. Bang bang. <laughs> we 
We are arriving here then. We are greeted by a swarm of Corvettes and Mustangs on either side of us. Corvettes of all different generations heading up though towards the supercar end where we're going to be parking up this car. That's actually quite an impressive lineup. I think this is going to be pretty busy up here. I have lots of different things going on. We are finally arriving. We're there is the an event for SPJ Roadster. How are you doing? Right. We've got a 720 Spider just coming in in front of us. Over to the right. Oh, this yeah. is where the party's at. Carrera GT just up there. Can't quite see it, but there's a black Carrera GT. What else do we have? McLaren Scuderia. We go right see. there. He's going to go. We're going to squeeze right through, get through the crowd here to come into the main event. We've got a. Uh, oh, we've got some nice cars. So Ford GT just on the right. The white Ford GT. That's actually a friend's car. That's very cool. Lambo Scuderia, GT40, Ford GT, 570. Yeah, okay, this is what we like. This is, this is definitely the. Uh, wow, this is an amazing variety of cars. We've got an F12, we've got a Cali T, we've got a line of Lambos on the right. This is, this is a, a really, really nice little gallery of cars. There's a whole row behind my Race CR wing I can spot a mile away. It's called Beast of the Green Hell, AMG GTR. Yes, this is a. Very, very nice line of cars we've got here. We've got some more Lambos over on the left, the Urus as well. Look at the colour of that McLaren GT. Like a pinky magenta McLaren GT with yellow accents. Wow. Right, where are we? Hey. We're just going to go uh, straight. We've got the, uh, the reversing camera on the screen here. Tuck in next to the Urus. It can be adjusted if required. Keep going, you got to roll. There you go, perfect. Perfect. All right. So there we go. First lift drive here in the uh, Evo. So let's turn it off. Short little drive, 70 miles on the clock now, but fun little one to experience. The Lamborghini Hurricane Evo Spider. Just gonna leave it roof down for the moment. Very clean and immaculate inside here. But uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. I'm gonna head straight actually to go and see the Bugatti very quickly and come and check this out just while we're here. Oh, we've got another SVJ Roadster over at the end, but yeah. this is the car that I saw when it was being delivered back in summer. The Bugatti Chiron, and here it is. Skyview roof. What a crazy, crazy thing. Absolutely awesome. And, uh, yeah, just chilling right there. A few other things around about. Wow, there's so many nice cars around here actually. This is supercar heaven. Look at that SVJ Roadster, roof panels on, but completely black, menacing. Hey there! <laughs> blue calipers, blue SVJ logo. It's really, really cool as well. Yes, so you get the point. There's a lot going on, a lot of very nice cars around. We've got some cars on the move, the McLaren 12C here. Look at the wing of that up, completely vertically at the moment. But check out this Aventador SVJ, grey with the blue. This is a very nice SVJ Roadster. Look at the interior of that thing. It's stunning, stunning spec. The J is well painted. This is really, really nice. The row of cars, though, just continues everywhere you look, all the way up here. I can see a ZR1, you can see a De Tomaso Pantera just there, AMG GTs, Maseratis, 675 part that way. That was the 12C going out over there. Yes, you see the point. There's a lot happening today. Look at the mix of cars we've got here. The Diablo VT, there's a Plymouth Prowler over the other side. We've got a GT3 Touring, very subtle actually, the Tourings. Then we've got a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. We've got the Pet Bread GT2 RS that we've seen on a few events in the past. If I come through this way though, here we have oh, nice. Stormcats Ford GT. This is very, very cool. Filmed with this car uh, when I was out here in the summer. We've got the Carrera GT. Coming through this way though, what else do we have? 600 LT Spider. Look at the interior of that, the bright red interior. That's really cool. Nice, very, very nice. Coming through. We've got more McLarens, Rolls Royce, another 600 LP Spider there. Look at all of this. Look at the wing on the back of that. In fact, let's come around actually and check this out. The back of this car, the wing is mounted out of the rear bumper. Literally. Wow. That's, uh, that's quite a big wing. Um, coming this way then to come down the line of Lambos. Obviously, all the colours out here. This is, well, the sun is coming out in force. We've got the 600 LT Spider followed by a launch edition Supra. We've also got the 1K Motorsports guys. This car did an 8.94 quarter mile, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's running on the Toyos, had a few mods and changes, um, tune and those kind of things. You can definitely see it's got a new exhaust system as well going on the back. Uh, these guys tuning up the 720s. Actually, I'm going to come through because something to show you just here. This colour we recognise. This would be a Cerulean Blue 600 LT Spider, and that looks awesome in this sunshine. That looks really really nice with the orange accents the center bucket seats obviously i would love it and i really 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 do drift exhaust system coming into life let's come and take a listen to this one as well oh, oh, wow. oh, really loud, really, really loud. well 
That is officially one of the loudest McLaren 720S's I have ever heard. Hopefully do something with these guys in the future. But yes, very, very noisy, very, very fast. That's kind of cool, with the contrast bonnet. That's a nice color. Yeah, ridiculous. ridiculously loud. Right, let's come through this way. Lots of cars are heading out, including this very, very intriguing AMG GTS. Carbon bonnet on that, look through to the engine bay. That's really, really cool, actually. Very nice, very nice. Zoom shot, but check out that green Viper ACR. That is very nice. Oh, as an Urus goes past as well. Red Urus. Look at this, there's an F40 that's come along as well. We've got a Ferrari F40 here as part of a combo of cars all heading out at the same time. I'm not quite sure what's revving at the moment, but literally the F40 just chilling, driving through, followed by the GT2 RS. Wowzers, 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 wowzers. wowzers. Look at that thing. Starting in the sunshine, looking immaculate. Okay, they're all heading out. Um, it's a busy line of cars now coming through listen to the sound of that thing Ferrari F40 that is spectacular wow awesome 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 followed by the GT2 RS followed by the Hurricane followed by the AMG GTR followed by a Nissan GTR yes battle of the GTRs between those two what else do we have oh look at the event still coming through nice colour yeah Pretty cool. Nothing like an event store and the noise that they make. This was definitely quite a lot more going on today than I originally expected earlier on. That's for sure. I didn't quite know what I was in store for a Lamborghini Broward supercar Saturday, and now I have experienced it, and it is absolutely crazy. There are so many cars. That's a really nice car. Speed <laughs> Roadster, Hurricane, 570 GT. Rolls-Royce Ghost coming through as well. 600 LT Spider followed. Carrera GT. Sound happy 10. It's not the loudest thing in the world unless you straight pipe it, but it is one of the most beautiful engine sounds known to mankind. It's a really cool combo of cars that's all heading out together and they're going for a drive after the event. The bubble of the flat six in the GT3 RS. Oh, that's nice. The blue Urus there. Compare of Urus alongside the Bugatti. But this has been a pretty crazy day. It doesn't feel like all that long ago we were hopping on board the Evo Spider at Lamborghini Broward to drive over to today's event. And this car itself, now we've got the sunshine out on it. Mid engine supercar, roof down, perfect driving experience. The Budokan Evo Spider. Yeah. It's a cool thing, isn't it? It's a very cool thing. Obviously, they integrated a new uh, wing back here, airflow that goes straight underneath it, the very back of the car, and takes for cooling down here at the sides and up on the top of the deck as well. But yeah, nice thing, very nice drive. What a crazy day. That was the 911 Carrera T. Oh, look, another SVJ. <laughs> Jokes and a 720 Spider. All the cool kids are out of the toys. 720 Spider actually coming fast now as well. So yes, this has been a pretty cool day. Supercar Saturday, Lamborghini, Koenigsegg and Bugatti Prowers. Yeah, what more can you ask for? Driving the Hurricane Evo Spider to come over to the craziness of all of this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video, but that is it for this time. I will see you again very soon. Cheers.